Starting today, we spoke to police, we spoke to fire rescue. They tell us uh, they're expecting more of the crowds on Monday. A lot of those college students are uh, wrapping up their exams and hopping in their cars. But uh, while it's uh, not too crowded here on Fort Lauderdale Beach today, we're expecting that all to change pretty soon. <laughs> はい、はい。すごい。
ね筋肉が結構張ってるので、ね、この張りをなくさないと骨盤の方もねしっかりと動かなくなってきますのでね。うさぎ気になりますそうですね、うん、でもねあの思ってるほど見えませんから大丈夫ですよあそうですか、はい、ここにね仙骨あのね、はい、ここにありますけれどもこれが今ね結構硬い状態なので、はい、これが楽にね動くぐらいまで少しね、あのー、緩めていきますはいでちょっと辛いかもしれないですけどねお尻の方に指で入れていきますよここね、はい、痛いでしょう痛いですね。結構右と左でバランスが狂ってる感じしますのでね、はい、相当辛いと思いますよどんなあれなんですかあの科目というか担当っていうんですか,何ですかあ、教科ですかあ、教科っていうんですかあの音楽でやってますあ、音楽ですか。はい。あ、音楽っぽいですね。ね<笑>そうですか。やっぱそういう音楽の学校とか、そういうのを出られて。あれですか。教員の免許を受けられたって感じですか。そうです、ね。はい、お体を起こしてください。はい。スプリングブレイクイズバック。The old familiar rules are also back, along with some newer ones, like specific areas for rideshare drivers to drop people off, and areas where stopping for pickups is prohibited. Police recommending spring breakers download the Circuit app. Checking with ABC Action News reporter Ashley, you're live at Clearwater Beach. And Ashley, what are the officers saying about spring break so far? James, they're actually saying that so far this year, it's been pretty mellow compared to years past, and that could have something to do with the cooler temperatures we're experiencing. But we still went on several calls overnight. Check this out. Clear water, please. Here you can see Clearwater police responding to a call in a hotel room. That room looks pretty trashed, and they actually arrest a young girl inside there. Clearwater police officers say most of the calls they get are disturbance calls. A lot of those are alcohol related. They also got called out on traffic disputes and crashes. Now, there are specific officers dedicated to looking for drunk drivers, and they pull extra manpower from other units to patrol this week.